Assalamu alaikum guys and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib! <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys know the fight is inshallah in the evening. May Allah grant him success, but that is not the focus of today's video. Habib has a YouTube channel and on the YouTube channel his team have been uploading vlogs. <laughs> and in one of the latest ones we saw this. Might leave a mark, I'ma leave a mark in this dunya. Cause I pray hard. Yes, that's right, the world champion Habib, the most feared MMA wrestler of our time, mate, is putting his head on the ground and showing his ego who the real boss is. That's right. And behind him, you also see champions as well. Everybody, look at that, everybody standing shoulder to shoulder. And this is why I say Islam is unlike other religions, yeah, because it practically implements its teachings through practices. What teachings I hear you ask? Well, uh, let me just mention four, yeah, just from this act that you're seeing, yeah. This is called salah or prayer, yeah. Number one, it's brotherhood. You see people of different abilities, of different status, of different races. That's right, everybody stands shoulder to shoulder. This practically shows us that nothing matters in the sight of God apart from our good deeds. Number two, it's connection with God. Whenever we want to meet these politicians or even these famous people, it's very difficult finding a window that we can meet him. But here Allah has set aside time that we can communicate with him five times a day. You don't need to get a very expensive package to get a stronger signal, no. The signal between you and your creator is always strong. Number three, it shows forgiveness and mercy because in a saying of the Prophet peace be upon him, the similitude of praying five times a day is like bathing five times a day. Yeah, if you bathe five times a day, will you have dirt left upon yourself? Of course not. So likewise, praying five times a day, will you be left with sins? And of course, sins is transgressing. You're transgressing, you're going against your creator, but yet he's showing that, look, I am forgiving five times a day, mate. This reminder is being drilled into us. So those of you watching saying, I'm too sinful, mate. I don't know this. Mate, just put your head on the ground and speak to your Lord. The bars don't go down, mate. 100% signal. And lastly, I wanted to say honor. That's right, because you and I, when we're praying Salah, we are praying like the prophets did, like the best of all creation, the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam did. That's right, the very movements that he made, we have the honor of doing exactly the same thing. We don't have an inferior salah, exactly the same salah mate. And if that's not all, our status and our honor is greater than even that of some angels. Because think about it, some angels are in Qiyam, standing position and shall always be in Qiyam. Some angels are in Ruku, the bowing position, some are in prostration. But the human being has been blessed with the complete Salah. Even if we look at other creations of Allah, you have some creatures yeah, that are in the Qiyam, in the standing position, like the trees. You have some of Allah's creation that are in the bowing position. Yes, like the four-legged creatures like the dogs and the rhinoceroses and the elephants. And then you have some that are in the prostration position like that of snakes. But Alhamdulillah Allah has made human beings limber that we are able to encompass all the positions in the Salah, the prayer. And some of you guys are like, mate, you have inspired us. Yeah, that's amazing, but I'm just too sinful. May the hadith tells us that even if your sins were to pile up, as long as you keep asking for forgiveness, Allah will keep forgiving you. But you gotta be sincere though. Yeah, try your best to stick with your promise. If you then falter again, ask forgiveness again. And please, 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 no matter what you're doing, even if you're doing something haram, take five minutes out, do your salah, and then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You'll get the sin for that particular act. 
But don't accumulate your sins by also missing your salah as well. The sin for the act is different, the sin for missing salah is different. I think what made this even more special is that Habib alongside his team they are in Dubai. Yeah, Dubai is known for its glitter and glamour and the gym, mashallah, has all sorts of facilities and I'm sure he's getting sponsorships and all sorts of things but mashallah, he's taking time out to put his head in front of his Lord because guys, no matter what facet of life you are in, no matter what problem hardship you're going through, the universal, the universal medicine that has been prescribed to us is salah, prayer. If there's anything that you're going through, after the salah, you say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Raise your hands, guys. But we feel like we have to make robotic du'as. No, just say praise Allah, send salutations upon the Prophet. And then, guys, talk away. Say, Allah, I'm struggling. Yeah, I'm finding dunya very overwhelming. It's very difficult. The hardships, they're coming one after another. Ya Allah, please give me ease, give me comfort, help me. Alright guys, let's leave it there and inshallah let's try to implement this. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.